When working with text areas, it's possible to thread your text from one text area to another, and this can be very helpful when working with publications that have a lot of copy. Now we looked at this a little bit earlier in this chapter when we started talking about the different type tools, but I'd like to explore this in greater detail now. And in order for us to do that, we need to copy some text so we have it stored on the clipboard. We can do that by double clicking to get the blinking cursor here inside this text area. You can then select all of the text, Command A or Control A is the keyboard shortcut, or you can simply click and drag to select the text and then you can copy it, Command C or Control C. Once you copy the text, you want to deselect this currently selected text area so we can create a new one. The quickest and easiest way to do that, because right now we have the type tool selected, is to hold down the command key, it would be control on Windows, and click away from it to deselect it. At that point, you'll have the ability to click and drag out a new text area. Then you can go ahead and paste the text. You probably want to paste more than one time, so you create an overset marker, which means you have more text than what can be displayed within this text area. So you then have the ability to thread this extra text to a different text area. The way to do that is to come over and highlight the selection tool. You can then come over and click this out port. All text areas have an in port and an out port. If you click the out port, you'll see you get a loaded cursor. If you click, you'll create a new text area and any extra text in the first text area is now threaded to the second text area which means if I make an adjustment over here, let's say for example, I remove some of this text, you'll notice that this second text area is impacted by that. So that's the first way to do it, but it's not the only way. If I come over and highlight the selection tool, if you want to essentially break this thread, all you have to do is double click this overset mark. Notice you get a broken chain link icon for your cursor. When you click, you break the thread. Now, if you ever decide to thread it again, you'll notice that the text area still remains there. And if you click on the overset marker or the out port, you'll get that same loaded cursor icon. But if you hover over an existing text area, you'll notice that you get that chain link icon. Now, you don't want to be inside of it. You want to be on the edge of it, and you'll get that chain link icon, which means you're going to use this existing text area to thread any extra text from this first text area. But you don't have to work with just text areas. You can also work with shapes. If you come over and choose the ellipse tool, before we do that, let's highlight the selection tool and click away from our text areas to deselect them. Then you can come over and choose the ellipse tool. I'm gonna go ahead and swap the fill and stroke colors here so we don't have a fill color, but we have a stroke color. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a shape. If you then come over and highlight the selection tool, V is the keyboard shortcut, and click on the overset marker, you'll get the loaded cursor icon. If you hover on top of the shape, you'll notice you get the type area tool cursor, which means you're gonna use this shape as the text area. When you click, you can see that that's the case. We're threading the extra text to this shape. And again, if you make an adjustment here, like you remove some text, you will impact this shape. You can see that that's the case. So again, threading text is pretty easy inside of Illustrator, but it can be very useful when you're working with large amounts of copy and large amounts of text. It's easy to work with essentially one body of text across multiple objects.